can find a lot about socks. Uh, you can tell like how tall a person is, how much they weigh. The wider the sock, the wider the person. Uh, a lot of the people, a lot of the hipsters nowadays are wearing really tall skinny socks. I don't know if you've seen them around. Socks are really special. A lot of people like them. It's, they are great to put on this cement kind of stuff. So then, if you play a prank on someone, you just put some of this cement down, and then when they put on their socks, they stick, and they won't be able to move. Um, let's say you have a spill. Whoops. You can just absorb that up, and then sock wow! It's gone. They're really absorbent. The socks absorb poop a lot. So you can just put some water on them, and then it's absorbed. Just like that. This one has a little fluffy thing on it. This must be a girl's socks. No guy would wear that. Let's say you want to impress someone at school. You can just write a little note saying, I heart, heart, you. Give that to your girlfriend, she'll be impressed. It can do a bunch of other stuff too. Let's say you have a, a stink problem. Just spray a little stench on them. You'll be smelling good for weeks. Uh, you can s tell how much someone weighs by their sock. Uh, you can clip them. How much it stretches is how much they weigh. So let's see, this is about like five inches. So I'd say this person weighs like 85 pounds. There's just so much about socks. Scientists have studied socks. It shows that if you have clean socks, it reduces 2% of lung cancer. And it's just, you can look at a generation and what kind of socks they wear. And through that generation, like 80s, they wear a lot of striped socks, colorful, colorful socks. Through historical and medical science, we can um, change the world and change our uh, city district. And then, politics. Those are some deep understandings of foot science. Excuse me? Gay! Why would you call me that? I'm not a homosexual. Stop! What are your happy pants? <sighs> oh, please, please excuse me uh, for, for him, you know? Uh, he, he's got this ringing ear low thing going on, you know, when it's really quiet and uh, you hear this really loud noise in his ear. Well, um, it, sometimes it's, uh, it's really irritable for him and he speaks before he he puts his actions into place. I don't care what your special son has. I just want to know why he would call me gay. Both of my dads are gay, so I find that really offensive. Because you're gay! Um, well, maybe it's because gayness isn't sociably accepted. Um, I'm sure your parents are very nice, and, uh, you know, it's uh, something that's incorporated, kind of like a, a, a bias, like have a biased opinion. Um, yeah, which, uh, which, which leads him not to like gays. But he hasn't met any gays. Homosexuals, please. Yes, I did. Met a kid at school and he was gay. He tried to kiss me? I hate him. Why do you hate him, John? Because he's gay. Uh, well, I think I have some socks upstairs that you may be interested in. Um, you can have them for free or we'll work something out. I don't see what the problem is. Just because you don't like one gay labels all the other gays? Yeah! Why do you think I'm gay? Because your name's Heibel and you collect socks. That is not the definition of gay. You'd have to be a fruitcake to know that. What's a fruitcake? Same thing as a fruit bag. What's a fruit bag? Same thing as a farmer's market. That only sells fruit. What's that? Same thing as Gabo. Gabo? A homo. What's a homo? You! What am I? Gay! So you're a fan of Elastic Shade? Yeah, he's my favorite singer ever! I've got all his albums, but I've been to his concert. He's my role model. I, I, he donates a bunch of money to charity, and I, I love him. I want to be just like I want to grow up. He's gay. Uh, I've acquired some socks from upstairs here. Take a look at these. Uh.